So if you haven't heard, Stardew Valley might have gotten a little bit of an update. You know, minor changes. Just makes the whole game feel different. Hi, I'm Clover. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a brand new 1.6 Stardew Valley Let's Play series with a new farm type. This update is absolutely massive, so I figured a series would be the best way for us all to experience all of the new elements together. So let's get started. There's new cat types and new dog types. So all of them are absolutely adorable and I want all of them. But I think I'm going to start with this cat. I wonder if they're going to be white or Siamese, something like that. And then there's going to be some changes to the bundles, I think. So let's do a remix there. The randomization is different, so I'm going to keep that different and choose Meadowlands Farm. Let's go. Oh my god, this cabin is just the cutest thing. You have an armchair in front of the fire and a wardrobe. Oh, it's a bad luck day to start out. Of course it is. Oh, getting started is with hay because you have the chickens. So you have to harvest an egg instead of planting parsnips. That's awesome. It seems like it'll take longer probably, but let's explore the farm before we start doing anything. Here's the water bowl. Uh, up here's the place for the spouse. And then I'm guessing, zoom out a little bit, up here. I don't know what's up there, but here's the path to go up towards Robins. And here's my chicken coop with the cool new blue grass. And oh, they're so cute. What's your name? Chicky and Grushinka. Okay, that's not a name I would choose, but it's cool. Like, where did we get these chickens from? I don't know. Well, they come with cute little names and open the door. And then let's see, Ooh, some wormies. Cool. Okay, nice. What's in this direction? The greenhouse. And is that a river? Oh, it's a waterfall. A waterfall and a river. So I'm guessing that's the outer bounds of this farm. I love how much it like meanders around. That's nice. Some more wormies over there, if I can walk around to them. So there's a river down there and a big pond over here. More areas with the blue grass. So this could be a good place to put a barn. And there's the exit out down towards Marnie's in the forest. I really can't navigate around this right now. Then over here is another pond. Okay. Oh, the farm cave. Great. That's where that is. And then I think we're back. Yep, back to the area in front of the cabin. Let's start out by clearing this area up a little bit and then heading over to Pierce to get some seeds and start meeting people. Oh, some mixed seeds. Handy. So of course I read the patch notes. I saw that there are new crops and that you can't buy them. So I'm really looking forward to finding out how you get them. Okay, that's enough clearing for now. Let's get a little farm area started. Put down my three mixed seeds. I think those are two potatoes and parsnips. And then, oh, I forgot. There's so many more things to this menu now. I wonder what this is. Is it the star fruit? Star fruit plus house plus a few other things. All of this looks, oh, the outfits change depending on where they are. I'm assuming that's Shane. That's fun. The map is much more accurate now. Look, that actually shows all the details of my farm. I love the way the river looks now. And I'm guessing those are waterfalls. Yeah, I can't wait to explore all of this. But anyway, what I was doing before I got distracted. Ooh, you can make text signs. I need to explore that soon. I was making a chest so that I could put all of my random things away. Now, finish exploring. Animals. Oh, you can check on all of your animals in the tab now. And it says if you pet them that day. Special items and powers. I think I recognize some of these symbols. Collections, all of those seem to be the same. And then I've already been through the options and most of it seems the same too. So let's go to town. No forage there. Bummer. Oh, hi, Harvey. I normally miss saying hi to you in the beginning. So let's start with that. Hi, Caroline. Ooh, they said the book bookseller comes to town. I really wonder what the bookseller does. And then something unknown. I'm so curious. Oh, hi, Leah. Oh, the design changed. I love that new rug. This all looks so friendly and inviting. Anyway, seeds. I always like to get one of everything needed for the community center. So I'll start with that. Of course, I'm assuming these are going to be needed. I did choose the remix, but I believe potatoes are the best return on money. So I'll get a whole bunch of those too. And then two more parsnips. There, did anything change in here? Hi, George. I think their kitchen might be slightly different and hey, they have a double bed. The room is slightly less depressing now. Oh, hi, Mario. Hi, Gus. And hi, Evelyn. And Jody. And Vincent. There's Emily. Uh, run. Emily, I want to say hi to you. Hi. Apparently, their dialogue has changed now and their outfits, so I'm really excited to see those. Now, we're going to go this way back to the farm because I don't have much space in my inventory, but I do want to try to find some forage. And then we'll go back to meeting people. Hi, Haley. 
I forgot that you go down here in spring. Oh, I love the way the river has changed. It looks so much more natural now. Forage, 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 forage. Fail at foraging. That's big. Oh, there's another one that you can get up to. This is cool. I wonder what this is going to be. And what is this? Carrot seeds. Only three days to grow? That is so exciting. A new crop immediately. And apparently you just find them in the ground. I like that. Just going to struggle my way through. And then planting time. Why am I arranging them like this? Really don't know. I just started and now I can't stop. Water all of my new baby crops. And then bedtime. I got a letter. It's time to go see Willy. So we will do that after I check on my animals and do a little bit more watering. Oh, I forgot. Your animals like it if you close the door to their coop now at night. I'll have to make sure to do that. But for now, hey chickadees, where are you? You're adorable, but that doesn't tell me where you are. Here's one of you. And let's clear out this so they have a little bit more space for all the grass. There you are. They're so cute. I love this little waterfall area. It's so pretty. You've got some new ideas to sleep on. I wonder, oh, that means you up, you leveled up in the skill. That's a handy message. No more guessing. Okay, let's put all this stuff away and then go try to finish meeting everybody and then go fishing or meet Willy. But it's only 920. We have plenty of time. I'd love to see if I could find some more carrot seeds. Linus. Hi, Linus. Demetrius, I can meet you. I like the stairs being more clear now. This house layout had never made the most sense. Ooh, that's a nice waterfall. That makes that whole ripper bit make more sense too now. Feel more dynamic. Everything is laid out just so slightly differently that I have to pay a lot of attention to where I'm going now. It's not different enough that I feel lost, but I keep expecting things to be like one over than they are. Oh, hi, Marnie. And there's a quest. Robin wants eel for breakfast. Um, we'll see if we can find it. The main goal is meeting everybody. Hi, Gunther. Meeting all of them. I love that little plant. Then let's meet Clint. So awkward. And I'm pretty sure Shane is at work. Shane and Pam. Great. Hi, Pam. Bye, Pam. There's a staircase. This isn't a little blocked off area anymore. Ooh, I bet one of the new festivals is going to happen over here. Now let's go meet Willy before we run out of time. Oh, Sam. Hi, Sam. Who do I have left? Three more people. And one of them is right here. Once again, Sebastian is going to be the last person. I swear that happens every single time. Now for some fishing. Is there any way to even get this spot? Don't think so. Okay, let's get off the beach to fish because this is uncomfortably loud. I found a lost book. I should probably sell the things in my inventory so it's not completely full. So you can get two of them. Fish smoker, sea jelly, river jelly, and cave jelly. That's fascinating. I wonder how you get those. And you can buy eel bait. That's going to make getting eels so much easier. I need to go back to Pierre's. I need to see if there's anything new in the shop that I missed. Pierre. Hi, Pierre. Let's see. A dehydrator. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard to get. You do need fire quartz, but you can try fruit and mushroom. That's going to be fun to experiment with. Now let's go try to get Sebastian. Nope, fishing. And then we can go find Sebastian. He'll leave eventually. Bubble spot, bubble spot, bubble spot, bubble spot. Bubble spot. <laughs> some green algae. Hi, Sebastian. Yes. Now I need to give someone a gift and I don't really have anything good for gifts anymore because I sold it all. So let's go find Linus. I think he'll accept fish. I hope. I think he liked it. Great. Spot more fishing than home. There's a little river over there now. That wasn't there before. I like that. It makes it feel like there's more leading into the lake. This will have to be the last one, but productive. Better stop and close up the coop door for them. I forgot I said it so that there are monsters on my farm. Bedtime. Level one foraging. So that was what that little pop-up was referring to. Also level one fishing. Won't complain about that. Oh cool, the blue grass will grow anywhere. It doesn't have to only be in a few spots. Well, I'm going to avoid destroying any of that and say hi to my chickies. That looks like more carrot. Yes, one more carrot seeds. And they grew up. Good job, Grushenka. Chicky. Now I need to make a scarecrow and build a silo. Okay. It's too early for a mayo machine, so I might as well sell these eggs. But I'm definitely planting this carrot. 
Now, why don't we clear up the farm a little bit more so it's easier to move around, go foraging, and stop by Pierre's to get some more seeds. My focus is going to be on the animals in this playthrough, but I am going to keep this front area in front of my cabin for any plants I want to grow. The rest can be all for my animals. Let's go do some foraging. Now the downside of my cabin that I can already see is that it came with a bench instead of a chair. So I don't think I can actually sneak into the secret woods with it. I'd have to get a chair from somewhere else. I think a bench is too large. But this farm layout is so cute. And starting with the animals is so different compared to all of the other ones that like minor loss. You can get cute little dog houses and cat trees and a birdhouse. I love it so much. I can't wait to do that. Anyway, I wanted to see. I do have enough to get another chicken. Let's get a third chicken. Snilbo? What, did they try to combine snail and Bilbo? I, I don't want to name it Snilbo, but I don't know if I can come up with something better. It's Snowbo. I'm so sorry. I love it. Ooh, some bread. Trash bread. Oh, there's a new quest. Demetrius wants you to fish up three sunfish. I will have to try. I'm on the lookout for some more carrots. That is definitely one of the most exciting parts of it so far for me. I love the new farm layout, but the fact that there's new crops, I don't have to be on a specific layout to use those. I wanted to check how much a silo costs. Oh, they have a little marker for the time now. Okay, so it'll take a little bit of getting, but shouldn't be too bad. Hello, Linus. Oh, do you want a flower? Yay! Now let's say hi to little Snowbo. Hi, Snowbo. <laughs> That's such an unfortunate name. I love it. And let's spend the day clearing up the farm more, or the rest of the day. I want to not be getting caught on everything. And I'd also like to get enough wood to repair that part on the beach. I swear if I don't do it immediately, I always forget that it's a thing you can do. And then it just ends up annoying me. I wonder how many of these bushes are going to have fruit. Oh, there's the return spot. I wonder where the shrine is for grandpa. I am going to have to do some more exploring. I'm losing to a bat, so let's try to go inside. Just sit in my chair in front of the fire for a little bit. So relaxing. And sleep. My carrots are grown. 75 energy and 33 health. That's really good for just a random vegetable. Oh, we might as well start with saying hi to my animals and fill up the watering can there. Now, let's go get some more plants. Piers is open. Great day for it. And I think I will leave the stuff needed for clearing and bring my fishing rod. Get some nice fishing done. Piers. Hi. I have all the forage items I found. I'm going to buy some more beans and some more cauliflowers and then one more potato. Sure. Great. That's all my money. Plant these and then go fishing. We could do that quest for Demetrius. Sunfish shouldn't be that hard to find. It's the fourth. It's sunny. It's going to be the least hospitable design to water around, but I don't care. I did not mean to plant them like that. I meant to plant them slightly more together, but it's fine. <laughs> Seriously, where is Grandpa's shrine? I think I do like this hairstyle. The one instead of two is a little bit off-putting for me at first, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. I prefer it from a side view than front or back, but it's really not bad at all. There's one sunfish. That's a really handy quest indicator. Okay, I like that. I don't have to actually open up the quest to see how many I've done. Two out of three. And three out of three. Now I just have to find Demetrius. Doing a little bit foraging first, of course. For me, no, <laughs> I lost my rice shoot. That was mean. I want my rice shoot back. Given how big those trees are, I wonder if the secret woods is going to have different graphics too. I haven't found a graphics change I don't like yet. I think all of them add a lot. So I'm very curious. I think this is Demetrius' summer hangout, not his spring one. Is spring up by the mountain? I think so. He'll be there for a date soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There you are. Hi, you did the thing I didn't think. Another bubble spot. Instant algae. And it disappeared. You know what? Fine. I, I get it. You don't want to hang around for me. It's fine. My earrings make my face look very rectangular at this angle. I'm a block with no mouth. Oh, I'll have to check the calendar again. But I think those days with the fill and star, I think those might be salmonberry days because they're after the um, egg fest. That would be really handy to have on the calendar if it, I'm right. 
have all of those little things marked out in advance. No more surprise, better derail your plans for the next few days to get all of these. Or look it up on the wiki and write it down in a sticky note and stick it in front of your face and then still forget, like I do. We aren't talking about it. Okay, I keep getting trash. Let's go. Stop and close the door. And sell all of these. And bedtime. Rain tomorrow. Cool. Not a good luck day, though. That's a bummer. Oh my god, my kitty is so cute! I'm in love. I love it so much. Oh my god. Yes, of course I'm going to adopt it. No, I'm not naming it Dudley. I... Hmm. It's so cute. It's white, I think. So I'm going to name it Snowball. I love it so much. Oh, is it so adorable? I love the branded knitters. Yes, I think I hit farming level one. The lack of organization is a tragedy, but I'll overlook it for now. Check them on my chickies and fill up my watering can. Finish this and then let's go mining. I'd like to get a proper sword before I'm attacked on my farm next. I also really want to start getting the copper so that I can have a silo built. Great, found a leak on the way because I never ever bring food to the mines. I remember spring food to something deadly. Not me. Mines time. I do like Marlin's eye patch. I'll keep my eye on you because he only has one. Okay, not going to be mean to him. Let's see how far down we can get in one day. I'm going to say level 10. Ooh, hello. Sneakers! Plus one defense. And now I have bright red feet, which is a questionable choice. A rock crab. Okay. Oh, I wanted a crab, but at least I got a bomb. Sentences that really don't make sense out of context. Ooh, a geode. Now, the combat is a little bit different with the update. The sword radius has changed, which is really exciting because swords are my favorite weapon. Yeah, it feels different to use. Crab! I got a crab! And a bomb. Nice. That was easy. I don't like that that was easy. This sword is so bad, I normally hate it a ton. Why was that easy? <laughs> so there's so many slimes. Like, why are there so many slimes? Whatever, don't question it. Just don't question it, Clover. Take advantage of the ladder and move on. Level five. Yeah, I can definitely get to level 10. Especially with that ladder already. Is that a shirt? Did I just get a shirt in the mines? Like, I won't complain, but that's weird. I did! Nah, I don't like the look. I'm still really pleased about that, though. I love character design, which is why the red sneakers are kind of painful to look at. But I mean, plus one defense? I'll put up with it for now. Drop some more seeds. What do I drop? Bug me. Carrot seeds! I forgot to bring the stuff for a chest, didn't I? Ooh, an earth crystal though. I'm really struggling with this inventory size right now. I'm getting rid of the crab. Sorry, crab. I wanted a crab. I'm getting rid of the crab. So first things first, we're saving up for more backpack space. This is a fun little maze. I'm glad they're only green ones. Yeah, I can get down two more levels in a few hours. It'll be fine. Just have to get through here. Ooh, are those boots better than my boots? No, I'd rather have defense than immunity. And there's my ladder. Be home to my chickens early. And I believe I've gotten enough copper to smelt a co five copper bars for my silo. Ooh, plus two defense, that's better. And they look slightly less ugly. So I just have to get the recipe now, which Clint should be giving to me tomorrow, I believe, now that I have all of the things Clint uses. Or we'll have to start working on the silo. Shouldn't take long. Stop and close the coop door for my cute little chickies. And we can plant my new seeds. <laughs> you're so cute, but you're so in the way. Okay, put my shirt in. And bedtime. Level one farming, so I can make my scarecrow. And level one mining. Nice. This should be Clint with the furnace. Great. So my main goal today is going to be getting all of the things I need to build a silo ready. But I would also really like to finish clearing out the farm so that I have a better grasp of where everything is. Because starting to find things 
Still really not sure. Go in and say hi to all my animals. Their names are so funny to me. Give them some hay. Grab all of these. And then crafting some things. I hit level one farming. So now I can make a scarecrow. And let's start with that because that's a different quest. Now my crops will not be at risk. And then a furnace. I have the copper ore, I have the stone. Copper ore. Oh, I might need to get a little bit more copper ore so that I have enough for all five copper bars. Yeah, I'll have to go back to the mines. I'm too short. That's really frustrating, but we can get all of this started and then go back to the mines while it's running. Only needing two shouldn't take very long. We don't have to actually try to make progress. I'm so barely short on the copper that it's actually kind of annoying. Why am I going here? I might as well go down to level 10. Even if I don't need to make progress, it's still no harm to it. Oh, there's some copper. Oh, I think I hit level one of combat. That should be enough copper, but there's no harm in coming down here for it. Now, I believe the monster hunter goals were changed too, so that the number of bugs you have to kill was decreased which I am going to be very much appreciative of. I've never really finished most of the monster hunter goals just because they need so many kills that it just takes way too much time. Okay, that's enough of the mines. Well, might as well get this copper too. And that, and that, and that, and now that's enough of the mines. I get so easily distracted in the mines. I love them so much. Now it's time to clear my farm and get some more copper smelting. I do need a little bit more stone too, I think, but clearing my farm should get me that. I say and start by going after wood. Now I think I just need some clay for the silo. So continue clearing my farm and then tomorrow I will go and get my silo started. Now my sub goal to clearing the farm is finding grandpa's shrine because it's usually somewhere around here, but there's a river and a waterfall and I went all around the outside of it and didn't see it anywhere. I'm wondering if there's just a corner I missed somewhere. Well, we're at it. Random seeds for planting. There's a lot of stumps on this farm. The forest farm is my favorite, as you probably know if you watch my channel. So I would love another one with something similar to it, even if it's without the forage. This map is already solidifying itself as one of my favorites, just because it's so cute. I love the structure of the little waterfall, plus how the farmhouse and the um, coop bar range together. Level one combat and level two foraging. Cool. I think I will actually make a well in this playthrough for the first time ever, just because there's no water next to my farm. I have to go over to the river to get it, and that's just a little bit too far for what I want. Now I'm going to sell all of my potatoes right now, but next time I will save some. Now I'm going to put all of those into my inventory and then go around do a little bit more foraging and stop at Robin's. Hopefully I will have enough clay. See, the RNG changed so that clay farming is no longer possible in the way it used to be. So I just have to get the clay naturally. There is an option to enable it, but I chose not to do that because I want to experience the new RNG, even if it makes my life slightly harder right now. Ah, new hat. Some of the order of when you access crafting recipes was also changed. Some of them at earlier levels than you used to. It'll be interesting to come up with new ways to think through how to play the game because of the changes. Ooh, a whole bunch of spring onions. I'm having to remind myself to look for carrots too now. Sure, we can kill some slimes, but first, let's get some more seeds to make up for all of those potatoes we just pulled. Let's do a full nine of potatoes and then some more cauliflowers and some more parsnips. Ooh, this is the change I'm excited about. Joja Cola now actually gives you a little speed boost. It's not very much, but it's no longer just pure trash. So let's see what we actually need at Robin's. Maybe I'll be lucky. And if not, I can at least forage. I'm getting so many leaks that I might as well go give one to George. I don't normally try to become friends with George very fast. It just kind of happens eventually, but it might be interesting to do. Let's see. Pen clay. Okay, that's going to take a bit of effort. Okay, you can build an, an extra pet bowl. It seems like you probably have to have another pet bowl before you can adopt another pet, but we'll see. Right now I need to get some serious clay. 
It's interesting how starting with the coop changes what's difficult, because I wouldn't have expected finding clay immediately to be a difficult thing, because normally I'm not trying to build the silo immediately. But unless I want to keep having to buy hay every few days, because I'm having a very rainy save, I'm going to need a silo very soon. And like I start out with a more consistent source of income, but there's definitely going to be a limit on how helpful it is. Carrots! Let's go sell these and hope this don't despawn. Um, there's going to be a limit on how helpful the eggs are when I have to keep buying hay. Oh! Today he has bream bait instead of eel bait. There's different baits for specific things. That's cool. I thought it was just the eels. And how much wood does this need? 300. That'll be easy. Once I have the silo, my first goal is going to be the barn. Because I have a coop, might as well get started on cows that match the name of my farm, Moo Hill. I really hope that there's new recipes, because I like cooking a lot in this. Not everybody does, but I think it's fun. And I'd love to see some new recipes with the spaghetti squash and the carrots. I think those could make some interesting food. Let's get these planted. And then let's continue with farm clearing. I wonder if maybe Grandpa's shrine is down here near the cave and I just missed it. This is such a grassy farm. Like, it's good it is, my animals will need it. But there's so little free space. A actual proper money. <laughs> Finally, it's not raining. Might as well get that going. Water all of my plants. Oh, better go get some more and I'll bring the hay to fill it up. You gonna come out? Oh, why are you upset? Snowbow's happy. Grushenka's mad though. What did I do? Oh, I wonder if I forgot to refill their food because it rained for two days in a row. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I forgot to refill their food. I'm so sorry, Chicky and Grushenka. Like, I'm glad one of you got food, but no. Oh, my attachment to pixelated animals is showing. I have enough wood now for that bridge, so let's do that, and let's go foraging and fishing today. Seems like a good use of time. I'm really just looking for clay right now, so there's not much else I can do. Ooh, this is so pretty now. I hadn't come down this far before. If I zoom out more, will I see it? Oh, that's beautiful. That's too far. That's better. This area is still full of trash, but part of it is more pretty now. Hi, Haley. I don't have any flowers for you, though. Sorry. Do you like forage? I think you like forage. Oh, Carolyn does not like forage. Sorry. Oops. A red mushroom! That's fun to get out of the trash. And let's build this. Don't see any changes over here, but it's still nice. And now I can fish at my favorite spot. Oh, we should go sell this so I have inventory space. Lounder bait today. And might as well fish here. My one inch sardine. Ooh, there's a glitch in Willie's fishing rod. Oops. Hopefully that bit gets fixed. Flounder! I like that it tells you when you first catch it. Ooh, I got an achievement. Collections, achievements. Catch 10 different fish. Hey, I think I leveled up in fishing. That's enough fish for today. Pretty successful. The Linus cutscene! I love the Linus cutscene. I love it for this moment. It's just so sweet. This is a good egg. Hi enemy, please ignore me. And bedtime. Level 2 fishing. Not bad. Oh, I forgot to close the chicken's door again. Ah, the hat mouse! The hat mouse is back! Hey snowball! Here, I'll fill up your water bowl. The chaos of my farm right now is painful. Hey guys, how are you doing? I think a well in the bottom right corner of this area would be nice. Or the top left. I'm not sure which one. But like slightly out of the way where it won't interfere with any little plot layouts I have. But it's still firmly within this space, you know? Or I could put it right next to my farmhouse on the left. That's also assuming I don't move my farmhouse at any point. Which I may end up doing, I don't know. Do I have a recipe? No mayo machine yet. Oh well, keep selling my eggs. Then what do I want to do today? Well, first I'm going to make all of the plots I would use if I had enough crops because I would really like some clay. Um, and then we'll see. One clay, eight to go. Seven more. 
you know, this area can fit a decent amount. It's not like factory farm levels, but it's good enough. Now I think we should go experiment with something today. If I take the little chair, cute little chair, and the bench from my, not the light, I do not want to take the light, and the bench from my farmhouse, can I get into the secret woods? We'll do some foraging on the way too, but I want to see if I can do this. Today's main goal otherwise is just getting clay through whatever methods I can. Hey, some mixed seeds. Now I don't think the bench will work. No, the bench does not work. But does the armchair work? No, they're both too big. So that is a downside of this cabin layout, but honestly, I'll take it. It's not that hard to get into the little chair. And it's really not that hard to avoid going to the secret woods either. Just good to know. Hey, another clay. Two more clay, three more. Maybe by tomorrow I can go get the silo started and head up towards town. Hi, Leah. I don't have anything to give you, just conversation. Oh, we should go do drop off some of these things so that I have more inventory space. I don't need to carry my furniture around all day. Great, I only need three more clay. Oh, is the spot here because that's where Pierre's little shop goes during events? How much does this cost? I have enough. I'm getting the backpack upgrade right now. I needed that. Now, since I have more spaces open right now, I might as well get a few more parsnips. Now back to foraging and trying to get some more clay. Elliot, that is not polite. <laughs> anyway, get mad at Willy, not me. He's the one who was storing it. Burmese. And it's stone, not clay. Oh well. We are eating that horseradish because I need to plant all of these and water them. The watering is going to be the hard part. Oh, better go close my chicken coop door. I should just barely have enough energy. Oh no, just barely have enough. And bedtime. Oh, Snowball's so cute. We don't need very much more clay. We can do this. That's the entire goal for today. Oh, I got some cookies from mom. Thanks mom. And I believe I just leveled up in farming. Now to say hi to my chickies. Well, Chicky, Grushenka, and Snilbo. Come on. Come on, Snilbo, I think. Ah, Chicky was inside. I already said hi to Snilbo. The funniest name. I can't get over it. Now, I'm going to choose to be hopeful and wander around carrying all of the stuff I need to get my silo. I only need three more clay. So if I'm very lucky, should be able to do that today. Yes, I am just going to be digging up random patches of everything. Community center. Yes. I'm pretty sure the bundles changed as well. So I'm excited to see what my remix bundles are and get all of that started. Oh, I love the Junimos. They're my favorites. I love how creaky the community center is. It sounds like it's about to fall apart. Back to trying to get some clay. We should probably go down to the beach since there's a lot of open space down there. What's this quest that I'm probably going to forget about again? Lewis wants a cave carrot. I just noticed there's stars over here. I wonder if those have to do with difficulty or something else. But sure, Lewis, if I remember, I have not been remembering. Hey, one piece of clay. I just need two more. Eat some cookies in victory. One more piece. I only need one more piece and I'm starting to feel exhausted. That's helpful. Come on, one more. I need to get some food. Gus. Can I have a salad? Thank you. I do wish you could eat sitting down. That would be fun. Yes, I got enough. Now we just have to make it. Oh, I didn't think about where to put my silo. And I didn't make sure there was a clean spot either. Um, we'll just see, guess. Construct farm buildings. Silo, built. I don't want to obstruct my way behind my house. So that would fit perfectly. And I don't want to take up space that they could use to eat. I don't want to obstruct the path. So I guess behind my house it is. I'll put it in there. And I think I should still be able to get around if I'm lucky. But yes, my silo will be done so soon. Hi, Robin. Have a flower, I'm really happy. Let's go into the mines and try to do the initiation quest. Initiation and getting a cave carrot for Lewis. We have enough time. Cool. Creepy ladder. Ooh, and a dwarf scroll. 
them anymore. I need to kill four more green slimes. Okay. I believe there's at least three on this level. More. Ooh, a ladder. Okay, so I killed this one and I can move on. Yay. Run. Okay, level 15. Thanks for the ladders. Carrots. Only normal carrots, not cave carrots, but I will happily accept them. Okay. Get that, and that, and move on. I'm choosing to just move on in favor of going down levels instead of exploring fully, because I only need to go down through this level to get to the next elevator, and I would really like to enter the adventure skill tonight, because it's now open later. Okay, I will not make it if I try to go through this level. Oh well, I'll just do it next time. Can I make it to the adventure skill to end home? We'll find out. Hi, bye. <laughs> Oh, I need to close my chicken coop door. Ah, it's another task. I have plenty of time. I just automatically assume I have none. And thankfully, Snowball was not blocking the door today. Level two farming, I have a mayo machine. Yes, I can use all of my eggs fully now. You can also consume mayo now, which sounds disgusting, but useful. Now, we have to go see the wizard today and grab Robin's axe. And I have so many crops now that are done. My poor chaotic farm. But I'd like to also stop by the museum today. And plants. So it's kind of just going to be a mess of a day. Take care of my farm and all of my animals. Head down to see the wizard, head into town to drop off the dwarf scroll, and stop by the community center, grab Robin's axe on the way. Give it back to her once I get back home. Hi chickadees. Better fill up Snowball's water bowl, too. And let's go. Bit chaotic, but what is a let's play if not chaos? My voice is very cracky right now. Oh, it's this cutscene, too. Time for the weirdest cutscene ever. Okay, that's a lie. One of the weirdest cutscenes. I really appreciate how confused I look looking for him and that he bothers to use the door. The fact that it actually gives me energy is kind of nice. Great. Now let's get going. And then Robin's axe. Now to Gunther. And Clint. Clint first. Hi, Penny. Would you like a flower? Hi, Clint. I have geodes for you. Great. Some things. Hey, I got the garbage can hat already. Normally that takes much longer. I look so stupid. So very stupid. It's a classic, truly. Donate to museum. Let's put that over here. And this over here. And this over here. Now over to the community center. Hey, nope, I like this hair too much to ruin it with the hat. Who has a quest this time that I can forget to do? Caroline wants a potato. If one of mine turns ripe, I will give it to you. That's the best I can do. Now, let's see. Bundles. Spring, wild medicine, forest, fall, summer, and winter. Okay, with the spring onion. Ooh, that's new. That's going to be fun to do and very easy. Winter with the holly. Only these for summer and those for fall. I like the forest bundle and the wild medicine bundle. This is going to be interesting to complete. Very interesting. Well, I think the forest bundle is a good reason to restart working on clearing my farm, considering we mostly need tree products and fiber. So let's go do that once we finish the foraging loop. Hi, Linus. How you doing? Have a horseradish, Linus, since I picked it up off the ground right next to you. And we'll save this leak. Oh no, we don't need to save leaks because leaks are the one that's not in the foraging bundle. So we'll sell this leak and give Robin her axe. If I can. Robin? Well, that's annoying. I will give Robin her axe once she is no longer building my silo then. And then let's restart farm clearing. And I think I just leveled up in foraging again. Hey, some mixed seeds. Good. This might be a small touch, but I really like that the boundaries of this farm are either natural things like the river or this fence. 
because it really makes it feel less cut off from the rest than having cliffs all around us. The cliffs all around feels kind of tightly enclosed, and I'm not a big fan, which is why I've never really used the Four Corners farm. But this feels nice and open, but still natural. Better get home before I die. And bedtime. Level 3 foraging. What is moss soup? Can't wait to explore that. But unfortunately, exploring moss soup and everything else new will have to wait until next time because I've run out of time. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been so interesting to explore and I can't wait for more. If you enjoyed this, I would appreciate if you could leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and I'll see you all later. Bye!